Right now, 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards is in Plymouth. Yeah, Tara, what are children there learning today about well, preventing tragedies like this to make them feel safer? Well, Stephen and Joanne in one class at Plymouth High School, a teacher was helping students to wrap their mind around who could do something like this and how this could happen. And students were very vocal with their input. The tragedy in Newtown was something many of these Plymouth High School students thought about all weekend. In this fifth hour practical law class, students delve into tough questions like what are some reasons individuals in society commit violence? There are people who are out on the streets, homeless people, people with families who can't afford it that can't get their mental disorders taken care of. It can help us understand our own feelings towards it, and then we can go home and talk about it with our families and be able to share how we feel so we don't feel like we have to sit alone and suffer in silence, you know? The debate quickly moved from cause to whether there are ever any warning signs. Does why he did it matter? No. I feel like it's just that he's selfish, and I feel like he's incredibly selfish by killing the... Um, the young children for no, you know, he doesn't really have much of a reason. Why they did something doesn't mean you're going to know the next person's behavior and why they did it. There's like thousands of different reasons why someone can do anything. So just because you know what someone did in the past doesn't, it doesn't really help you at all for the future. And the focus of the discussion, when you see red flags, be a part of the solution. When you see warning signs like that, I feel like you should out of anyone you should probably go to someone or just try to get them get them to help we can all help we can all help prevent it or even like in various ways help the people who are actually going through it like help them get through it know they're not alone and you can see a flag is flown at half staff here in Town Square in Plymouth, another bedroom community similar to Newtown. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you how students here are trying to bring some comfort to those in Newtown. Live in Plymouth, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Stephen Joanne.